Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Victor the Magician, this is my kitchen, and you're watching Victor in the Kitchen. In case you're wondering what happened to the Victor Walks Abroad format, well, lockdown. I mean, as it is, I'd only really gotten to film in my girlfriend's bedroom anyway, so we're going to drop the pretense that I'm likely to get out and be able to film anywhere anytime soon. And we're just changing it for this format. As I said, this is Victor in the Kitchen. Magic in my kitchen without the big cinematic introductions that I'm able to do at home in what I laughingly call my studio. <laughs> it's not a studio, not by any stretch of the imagination. Anyway, folks, the point is that we've got some great magic for you today. I don't know who we is, it's just me sitting here. Actually, I'll tell you what, in a very brief tradition, I'm going to stand up. I'm a man who enjoys a sedentary lifestyle. Seriously, you don't keep suits this nice by exercising. <sighs> but, because we are on a kitchen count today, it is going to be a bit better if I stand up. And we're going to use our deck of the day. These are Memento Mori Dark Edition playing cards, and they are very, very awesome. So, let's get started. Now this trick is all about the Ace of Spades, and how it can draw power from these wonderful Memento Mori playing cards in order to transform into any other ace in the deck. I'll show you what I mean. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take that ace of spades, take a look at it, there really is, really is the ace of spades, it's not a trick card or anything. I'm going to drop it down here. And while that's down there, I'm actually going to take another moment to give these cards another cut, just so you know there's no funny business going on. There we are, I'll cut them face up a moment, and then I'll give them a few more nice fair onto the table cuts. And while I've been doing that, by the power of misdirection, that has changed into the Ace of Hearts. I know, right? Pretty cool stuff. And I thought so when I invented it. Obviously now in the light of day, I'm having second thoughts, but never mind. And that's obviously our shuffled deck of cards there. For our Ace of Hearts as well. There we are. Ace of Hearts, shuffled deck of cards. I don't know why I said it in that voice. Sorry folks, I don't know what's up with me today. The important thing is that if we shake the Ace of Hearts, it instantly becomes the Ace of Diamonds, the other red ace. Now that's not particularly impressive, I'll tell you what is impressive if I cut the Ace of Diamonds for a moment with my hand. That becomes the Ace of Clubs, the other black ace. I'll tell you what's even weirder though, is that I don't actually have any aces at all. I'll prove it to you. There we are, I'll take these few cards off the top and I'll show you. There we are. None of them are aces. In fact, the only ace I have is the Ace of Spades, which I showed you at the beginning which I never even put on the table because it's right in the middle of the deck. Back to sitting down. Like I said, I enjoy a sedentary lifestyle. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is the first episode of Victor in the Kitchen. Hopefully it watched better than it recorded, if that makes any sense. Because to be honest, that felt like an unmitigated disaster. Uh, Anyway, folks, I shall see you next time for more magic. And now the card's over the little stop button. It's been one of those days, folks. It really has. And the card has also moved the mouse off the little stop button. Let's try this once more.